Hi, welcome to Air TV. I've got Robbie with me. We've just won 2 0 um, at the Emirates against Luton. I've been hearing you. I don't know if you're playing presenter or not. Boring, boring. Oh, it, was, we, it was boring, man. Well, we, we won the game too. Now. I know what you're saying, but we won the game. That's what you're supposed to do. No, no, listen. Clean sheet. Like, I think Lee said it. If every game's boring from now to the end of the season, we win the league. I'll Indeed. take that. Yeah, so stop moaning, man. Right, no, I'm, I'm not moaning. <laughs> I'm not, listen, you honestly, honestly, I'm not moaning. It was a boring 2 0 win. I'll take it all day long. Okay. Right? You know what I mean? Remember that game against Southampton last year? Yeah. When we drew, that was exciting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you don't want that though. You don't want that though, do you? Remember that Bournemouth game when we were losing and we came back and won 3-2? Yeah. That was exciting. I don't want them games. I want these. High blood pressure. High blood I got... Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I, need your blood, your I, your blood. I need to keep that blood pressure yeah. down, bro, right? I want these games. Okay. From now till... The, if we go Brighton on Saturday yeah. and it's like this, perfect. Mm -hmm. And I was just saying to... I, think, I can't remember who's... One of the guys anyway, saying yeah. that... I just feel Arsenal got a calmness this season. They got... There's, yeah, they, 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 they're not getting carried away. I think maybe last year, that game, they'd be looking and thinking, right, let's try and get four, let's try and get five. Mm. Then you go and concede one, all of a sudden you're back. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's a calmness and professionalism now where it's just like, right, we're 2-0 up. Mm -hmm. Yo, come, you, you, you lot need to go now. You know what yeah. I mean? You're fighting against uh, relegation. What are you going to do? Come. We've got a great defence. Come. If you make any errors, <laughs> we'll punish you with more goals. And I think... That is the intelligent way to do it. That's the way Man City have done it over the years. Yeah, and they get brought Year for in, it, yeah. year out, they do that. They just like 2-0, 2-0, 1-0 yep. maybe here, then they'll smash a team, you know what yep. I mean? So I think that was, I, I think it was a, a, a good performance today. And also we've got to remember the rotation. I mean, when I saw the team at the, the you know, at the start, start of the day, day um, yeah. the start of the evening, I was like, whoa, that's a lot of changes. Mm. You know, um, but I think the players that came in did really well. People were saying around me were saying, "Why is he risking Declan Rice? Keep him on the bench." So, did you have that same sort of sentiment? No, 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 no because Thomas Partey, you know, what I mean, he's, he hasn't played a full game. Well, I think since the start, you know, first couple of games of the season, and even that was at right back. Yeah. So you know, you, you don't want to flog him. You know, I mean, you got to get him off. You got to take those players off. They, you could see. He was knackered, Smith Rowe was absolutely knackered, yeah, Reese was knackered. They, they haven't played, not used to playing 90 minutes, so they were really tired. So get them off, you know, and we're going to need them for games coming up. But Smith Rowe, I thought today, played really, really, really well. Yeah. Man I, of thought, the match. I thought Man he of the put match. in a really good performance. Man of the it was match. his Man tackle. Smith Rowe. They, 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 it was his tackle yeah, that led to on the, the first goal that led to, that, the led to the first goal. And then the second goal is his cutback Man that created man. havoc, you know what I mean? And Reese running in. And I thought Smith Rowe today, when you consider how f little game time he's had this season, I think he took his opportunity. He played really, really well. Do you keep him? Because 100% profit, the homegrown kid. Tough question to ask now, but... I've said a million times, I, I, I want to keep Emil Smith Rowe. I'd love to keep him. Listen, this guy's come through the Arsenal system, you know what I mean? A couple of seasons ago when him, it was him and Saka, they were our best players. Yeah. Let's remember that. It's only because of injury the setting back so far. So I would love to. You'd love, love to, to, but do you think Arsenal I will keep I, I it? Think, I think if um, I think if between now and the end of the season he comes, he puts in you know great performances when he's called upon. I think we will. I think we will. You know what I mean? Because he's he's part of the makeup of this club. So I I really I really want to see Arsenal keep him. But I thought today he played really really well. He, he tired in the second yeah, half. He, you can see he, was, he never lost really yeah, a full He was out night. on his feet in the second yeah. half, but in the first half, he was brilliant. He's closing mm. down. He, there was a lot of tackles he put to break up play. He was really, really good. Does Thomas Partey come in for you, Rob? We've got Brighton away next. Does he come in and, and you leave out uh, uh, Jorginho, probably, maybe? Probably probably not. I probably. Wow. That Brighton game, I'll probably go back to Jorginho coming in with Declan Rice because they've been rested today. You know what I mean? And the, I think the, I think where it's going to be interesting is does Partey come in with Declan Rice for that game against Bayern Munich? That's going to be the interesting one for yeah, me. Yeah, agreed. But it's great that these players are back now and we can be rotating because, you know, last year if Thomas Partey was out, yeah. man, he would walk into the ground and you heard, <laughs> man, say, yo, bro, Robbie, here, the party's out. Yeah, everyone's like, oh, yeah, hold he's, hold he's walking to the ground smiling. and he's like, because our rice has been so good, <laughs> because Jorginho has been so good, we've yeah. not missed party. So it's brilliant now that we've got those decisions to exactly. make. I mean, mm. these are top, top quality players. And 
I think we showed the strength in depth of our squad today. Yeah. You know what I mean? In the, all, everybody who came in did what Zinchenko, I thought, yeah. was really good as well. Yeah. Came in and mm. did really well. So, you know, we're showing a good strength in depth and that's really important this time of the season yeah. because this is the business end now. They're going to get called upon. There's loads of games. We've got this game Saturday, game Tuesday, game the following <laughs> Saturday, then a game the... Yeah, you know I mean, they're, they're coming thick and fast, man. So the squad is going to have to get used. Players are going to get called upon. And one of those players could be the hero come before. We, I, I remember going back to the days of when we were winning titles. There'd be some unlikely player yeah, sometimes, like a Sylvain Wiltor, yeah. who come in and score a big, big goal. Or, you know what I mean? It wasn't always your, your Henri's or something. It was yeah. some of these players. Carnu, yeah. again, Carnu's yeah, yeah. So, you know, some of these guys are going to get called upon. Yeah. Um, and are going to be very, very important in this running. You talking, know? talking about some of the players that you know will be knocking on the door then, bar Mill Smith-Rowe, anyone else you saw today that's thought, do you know what, fair enough, you can feature or maybe even start coming against Brighton. You spoke about Zinchenko, is that yeah, one? Yeah, you, 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 you could look at Zinchenko um, as maybe a starter, although, you know, I, I, Kivio, I, I think, again, with the threats that they carry down um, out wide, yeah. you know, but I think, um, you know, I record a Brian Edson. Tommy Asu as well, yeah, yeah, Tommy Asu. But it's just a great problem to have. It's great to see these players yeah. back, man, you know what I mean? And, you know, at the start of the season, we had so many injuries, man. Mm. So many of these players were injured. And to see them back, and Partey's the big one, I think. Mm. Yeah. Having him back there, that's big, you know what I mean? Because all of a sudden, the midfield starts to look very, very good. When you've got Rice and Partey in there, and you've got the option of then Jorginho as well. Mm -hmm. That midfield starting to look really, really good. And um, yeah, we, we forget like there was no Saka not even in the squad today. Yeah. Jesus didn't even come on. Oh, you right, know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. you know, Fair. so we're showing we're showing really good squad depth. Let me ask you this: I'm going to put you on under pressure again. I did this at the City, but Havertz, 12 goal contributions this far so far this season. Big another price tag, another assist, another assist. Big price tag. Weekly wages are a lot. Has he? For you, yet yeah, earn that the price tag and the wages yet, yeah, or are you still waiting? So he's, still he, more? he's delivering. Mm. Havertz is delivering at the start of the season. You know, what I mean, Man, we'll if we it. if we did a poll, all <laughs> of us, all of us here, no, there'd be nobody here saying that we should have bought him. All of us was a bit mystified by the decision. Arteta was proving us all wrong. Mm. He's a very important player. He's, he almost seems to start every game. You know, I don't think he was great tonight, but he had an assist. Yeah. He's effective and. It's about being effective mm. in a game. I mean, we, we were talking the other day about Doku. Um, I think he might Nine have. Product. Sorry, yeah. Did he have an assist? I think he heard product. today. But player, no great product. player, looks great on the eye. No but then you get to the end of the game and like, whoa, what, no assist, no, no goal, product. no. Whereas Havertz yeah. is delivering. I mean, he's a good goal, assist, goals, important goals. I remember going back to the game against Luton when we played him at their place. Mm. It was him who got us back into that yeah. game. Yeah. When they were really on top, we used that in the game. Like, yeah, like yeah. The, yeah, I mean, they were on top, and he just again, his goal was big. So um, is he earn so it? Is he earn it for you? Then he's earned that price tag. Yeah, listen, oh, no, I, yeah, I mean, I don't have a price tag because the price tag still um, is still a hefty price tag. But you've got to say he's been a good signing. Uh, yeah, he's nice. been a very, very good signing comparing to some of the other signings. Comparing to Mudrick. Mm. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, all right, let me ask yeah. you this. We're gonna. We're gonna. To Anthony. Yeah, okay, you know, actually, that's, that's those are, and those are not even good comparisons because they've been totally wet. They're dead. You know what I mean? So he has been Correct. good. He has been very, very good this mm. season. Have a slow start, but he's grown into the team, and I think he's become a very important player. He'll start yeah. on the weekend, won't yeah. he? Every, listen, everyone's been telling me, like we just said off camera, saying, listen, focus on the next game, stop looking ahead. But yeah. I have to ask you, in, in it's we're going down to the you know the business end. What is the most fearful game for you as a fan in that run that we have left? You know what? If you look at the run, I don't fear any of them, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. wait, what do you mean? Everyone saying yeah? yeah, yeah. Brother, no, listen, listen. come on, bro, it's North no, 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 it's, it's the Derby, I, North London Derby. I respect every team that's left in it. There's difficult games. Going to Tottenham, going to Tottenham is going to be difficult. Going to Old Trafford is going to be difficult. But let's just, uh, you, you know, going to Brighton's difficult. Yeah. But we beat Brighton last year. We beat Tottenham away last year. The only team, if you actually look at the run we've got left, Wolves away, the games we've got at home, Chelsea at home, all those games. The equivalent games last year, we won every single one of them apart from Man United. Which we should. Right? So why should we go into those games with fear? We did it. Last season, we beat all of those teams. Mm. 
you know, so we are capable of beating all of those teams. And United are not being great this yeah, season. Yeah, been, Even though they step it up when they're at Old Trafford, they step it up when it's a better team. But we should still. Right? <laughs> but I don't think, listen, when I say not fearful, that's not, res that's not disrespecting those teams. Those are tough games. But I think Arsenal are more than capable of, of you know, they can, be, they can win all those games. They won, as I said, they won all those games apart from the United one. Yeah. Just left in that running last year, they beat Wolves away, they beat Chelsea here pretty easily, they beat Tottenham 2 0 away. We beat, you know what I mean? And these teams are not exactly that are left there. On paper, they look like tough games, but Wolves have been getting turned over a lot, Brighton have been getting yeah. turned over a lot, Tottenham have been looked, you know, last night, you know, 1 1, yes. you know what I mean? Against Luton, they were 1 0 down, they concede a lot of goals, yeah. um, Tottenham. United lost at home to Fulham, they've not been. Old Trafford's not been the sort of solid place that it normally yeah. is. Why can't? Well, you sound like, like you're believing. So you're, belie you're believing Arsenal can go on and win this league, then, or that's what. That's the way you're speaking. Is like, yeah, believe. <laughs> <laughs> don't stop. You know, don't stop. <laughs> don't stop. Believe. Why not, man? Listen. Why not? I no. think. No. I think the team believe. Believe. If the team believe, but Liverpool, listen. I know we're top right now, but li listen, it's in well, there. Li listen, we're up against great teams, and Liverpool, yeah. right? Are, Liverpool have been yeah, brilliant this season, I think, with their injuries. Mm. City or City, City or right? City. But they've been here. I believe, right, that we can do it, right? Mm. If, if it's going to be really, really tough. It's not going to be a walk in the park. But it's, it's not a walk in the park. It's really, really tough. We've got tough games. I think maybe that suits us, man. That we got yeah. when everyone's looking at a run and they say you've got the hardest game. Yeah. Because you know what? You, you know what? You look at a game like tonight. Yeah. You know, like there's little moments of sloppiness in Arsenal and that. I don't think we didn't, there was no sloppiness on Sunday. True. There was foot, so maybe them big games, big. You know what I mean? We can. We, Villa at home. We beat Villa at home last year. All of those games left, we can win. I feel that, but. You know what I mean? But you like Lee. There's no, no, but it's but not gonna believe. listen. Believe. I believe, but it's not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be easy. It's gonna be very, very tough. But we can do it. Let me end by asking you: Are you enjoying it as a fan? I'm loving it. <laughs> it's <just> very nervy. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be loving it when it gets down to yeah, the. Like, gets... Oh man! But, but this is where we want to be, man. We want to be. You know what I mean? You know how many times we've been following Arsenal over the years? Get to January, February, everything done. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's over. Facts. You know what I mean? Walking right, to games like this, yeah, head you know, down, kicking the fucking yeah, ball. Yeah, not even in, in recent years, not even a top four thing. Exactly. You know what I mean? We're challenging for titles, it's second year in a row. This is what we wanted. This is what we want. We're in the Champions League now. We've got a chance of progressing that. This is fantastic, man. This is what we want. If we can get even one of them trophies, man. Oh <laughs> it's carnival. North London <laughs> Carnival, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> right? Not, not in the, listen, if Arsenal win the carnival, if the carnival, yeah. if Arsenal win the league, yeah. not in the carnival is cancelled because it's here <laughs> in North right. London. You'll see the biggest it's party over. ever. It won't be like when City win the league, no. right? No it won't be like when Chelsea won the league, right? A few buses were, a few. Everything's locked down if Arsenal yeah. win the league. Locked. London is locked off. They know that. Trust me. Yeah.